Hey, how we doing everyone? So today we're going to do finally an MXQ Pro 4K open box. Um, they are different companies, but practically they're all the same. They all have the, practically the same remote control. So really, we don't care about this. This has been manufactured by different companies. They all look the same, but here what we get, we get an Android uh, TV box. It's a 64-bit CPU. They all, they all have the... 265 full core 4k include Cori and this version this one particularly has a 5.1 but when you run it actually it says it's a 6.1 I guess the box is an old box not much uh, here um, some instructions and the 4k so let's go and let's open this uh, uh, brand new box Let's see what we get. All right, so sometimes we get this way, sometimes they are the other way around. Depends how they pack it. So this is what we get. Let's put this way. So we can see the right. Heaven Cube Pro. All right, we get this nice bag into it. So let's see what we got here. And as you see here, we got the we got the power 5 volt, the Ethernet, HDMI, uh, regular video, as video now and, out, and output, AV cable. Some of the boxes, some of the boxes come with the cable. I'm not sure if we're gonna see this one. Some don't have the cable. And here is a digital output. Okay, not fiber optic. Okay, a lot of people think it's a fiber optic. No, this is a coaxial 50 ohm, and we do have four. USB, okay, and also an SD card. Now, for USB, I don't think this box is going to be able to power for USB. I already tried some uh, high drive self power, I mean, power through USB, and it was not enough. And it was a tiny, and actually, I'll show you, it was a pretty tiny high drive, and I got a problem. Actually, this tiny high drive uh, was on and off all the time because we had not enough power. To be able to power there so as you see my other videos i do recommend have it like self power if you start in popping this up with different devices definitely it will be not enough because we can look the power supply in a minute so package wise they do change this one is hiding the remote control some other one has a little open here but never the remote is here the remote is inside a pretty cheap package, I guess they're trying to save money in the package, so nothing fancy, you're not gonna find anything fancy in these things. So, what we get? HDMI cable, okay, you don't need to spend any money, this is good enough, dollar ninety nine cents. you never spend money, this is a digital cable, so works or not works, it's not a metal point on digital cable, not worth to spend, I know sometimes you go to the like Best Buy or those places and the salesman try to sell you a TV in a hundred hour cable. It's a big rip. It's all the commission actually. I'm sorry you guys that work for Best Buy. And in this case we do have a uh, cable. This for old school. So we get uh, a left and right, I mean left left and right cable and this is to connect the uh, regular video and all TVs. Yeah, power supply. And let's see how much amp this thing will. Oh, two amps. All right, yes, two amps. Five volts. Five volt, two amps. Okay. It's universal adapter, by the way. 240, 110, so you can use it anywhere. All right. But two amps and how much? What it draws, I don't know really what it draws the box besides. Uh, and the remote control. This is kind of nice. They are another remote control. Um, they are not the best. Normally when you buy the MSA box, it has a different remote control. But this is what we get. It looks real nice. Mouse, terrible. I do not recommend to activate the mouse real slow. So do not use the mouse if you're going to use Cody or any other... Uh, um software i'm trying to use only this and this is the only thing i use 
I personally I never tried to set up the TV code. Oh. Not much. So this is what you get. And then the instructions. Very simple instructions. Very straightforward. I have personally, like I said before in my other video, I never read manual, so I never read instructions. Okay guys, so with this we're gonna complete the video on the open box and the MX Q Pro. If you guys want to know how to set it up, up up over there, let me see, up somewhere there, you can click in the link and I'll show you in the next video how to do actually full setup on MX Q Pro. Okay, actually I had two videos, a simple version and a real long deep version. Alright, so click somewhere there. I don't know. There. No, somewhere there. Let's just go over a few, few things on it. So we got, here we got the uh, 